planes, and more planes. Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. What do we have here? Couch. Mind if we talk <laughs> for a bit, Grandma? Oh, that goes back to talking. Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? I thought you were well, leaving. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk bye, Kathy. <laughs> Make up your Grandma mind. Grandma has prepared some tea for us. Nah, I'm more Ooh. of a coffee gal. Mm -hmm. No tea, then. Window. There's nothing quite like the soothing oh, sound of rain before. falling on a window. Can I do anything different with Grandma other than sit on the couch and talk to her? Mary Look Elizabeth her. Rain, my grandmother on my father's side. Okay. Bookshelf. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. An intricate toy airplane with moving parts. I remember playing with that. Grandpa had a whole collection of them. Well, I think that's everything here. All right. Off we go. <clears throat> Ooh, we can go can upstairs. We go upstairs? Because she mentioned that she was afraid of the welcome. attic before. Oh, well. Oh, shouldn't overstay my welcome. Okay, fine. Can we steal a nice coat? Nice black leather. No. <laughs> All right. Fine. Steal, steal the phone book. The phone book! <laughs> <laughs> it's used for looking up phone numbers in the Conwell Springs area. <laughs> apparently. Oh. Ah. Sheriff Station. From... I wonder, is this guy voiced by Darkwing Duck? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sheriff, what's the deal with that bum? What bum? The one in the cell. Oh, I thought it was with you. Well, shit. <laughs> okay, then. Land of the Free. Not their peak hours, it seems. A bunch of cops lining up for a photo. A medieval fortress near an ocean, probably supposed to be somewhere in Europe. A medieval fortress near... Various notices and a wanted poster. Fax machines, the pinnacle of modern technology. <laughs> Might be something useful in there. Rummage. I think he'd object. Well... You're not gonna I mean, find any clues. Problem. You're not gonna find any clues with uh, that attitude. Okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh man. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach, Lanny. <sighs> if you say so, boss. Lots of police reports organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Well, Some young look cop looks a bit familiar. Well. Shall we talk Familiar. to him? Familiar. Let's do it. Hi. Where were you on the night of April the 21st? Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My oh, reputation precedes me or something. in a kind yeah, of, but something not like totally creepy way. Aw, oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Admit the truth. <laughs> you have no clue who he is. Pretend to recognize him. <laughs> uh, let's be truthful this time. Ah, uh, real life. I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. <laughs> His What's office is for the only door. On church? I think it's a nice enough church. Why? I don't know. The priest seemed odd. Kind of pushy. Yeah, I get your point. But I know the guy. He's harmless. If you say so. 
I don't want to show him that. <laughs> right. I won't bother trying to show every item in my inventory. Well, gotta go. See ya. Let's go see the sheriff. Oh, he looks mean. What can we look at in here? Ooh, trophies. I guess somebody's a winner. Lanny, I need you to do something. I like how you're just in his office. Yep. It's my mother's birthday this weekend. You'll have to get her a gift. A photo of the uh, sheriff gift? shaking like hands what? with some bald really guy in a suit. For Christ's sakes, all moms Probably the, the mayor. Just it's always the mayor. I'm expecting something nicely wrapped on my desk by the end of the week. A uh, gold medal of some famous. kind. Just some photo. I can't see it. Just some photo. Just some... Just some photo, apparently. Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say. Things too good to be true usually are. This guy actually does sound a little bit like Jim Cummings. <laughs> Ah. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Hmm. <laughs> what do we think? I think either the family or... I'd say family is probably the... Yeah. Because I don't think Lenny's going to be of any help. He's clearly kind of whipped. <laughs> yep. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this town. It's complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Lenny, a little <laughs> help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? Too much coffee? Try not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Well, then. Yeah, so we got the stereotypical unhelpful police authority. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sheriff. What's the deal with Tons that of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything what labeled as police reports, so oh, I, those I, must I, be I, elsewhere. Well, shit. Lots of police. I would, but I can't do that when he's right there. Maybe I can distract him somehow. Hey, Lenny. You talk Hello, to him Kathy. about the What's police up? report. Hey. I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. Um... I totally well, did. Go. See ya. <laughs> Looks like he talking isn't fine. gonna help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Talking's not gonna help if you're so truthful. <laughs> I wonder you do have a stun doors. gun. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Not sure where those doors lead. I should go check it out. <laughs> Can you imagine just every time you see a door, it's like, I don't know where that door goes. I should go check it out. Yep. 
How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. Ooh. Jail cell. I mean, that's fine. Bum. A jail cell. Looks cramped. If I ever feel the urge to clean, I'll know where to go. Huh, very funny. <laughs> Looks like an incarcerated bum. Let's talk to him. Hey. What? I can't hear you. Well, do we need to turn off the TV? What a tiny TV. Thanks. That was getting annoying. A jail cell. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Ooh, persuade him to distract Ooh. Lenny. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? I just killed a guy. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse is even worse. <laughs> hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. But that doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. I'm going to look around the rest of this room before I ask him to distract Lenny. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. No I mean, posters. shopping carts are pretty I'm disappointed. deadly. They are. They, you have to be careful. Various tools. Mm. An axe, a sledgehammer, and some other heavy tools. Well, I think you should take all of them. Brilliant idea to leave those lying around next to evidence lockers and locked cells. <laughs> Too heavy to carry around, and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Oh, what's Just with this reality nonsense? Just put them supplies. in your pants. <laughs> Seriously. Clearly she doesn't realize she's in a video game and has endless <laughs> inventory space in her jeans. A computer monitor. Probably recovered stolen goods. There's no way small town cops would be that up to date with the modern world. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. I'll need a key. All right. All right, well, Pro let's go ask the bum to do something for us. Hey. Hi there. You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least 20 bucks. It's like a hundred dollars today. <laughs> Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <laughs> Deal. Good. I like her negotiating tactic. <laughs> so, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. All right. Let's go out here, I guess, and... Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have Aha. to make this quick. Search. <clears throat> Okay, let's have a look. 08 oh, 16 81 11 40 p.m. An individual was encountered on the side of the dirt road with uh, a few miles from Conwell Springs, blindly walking forward with his eyes open. The subject was identified as Joseph Rain. He did not respond when touched or spoken to. He appeared to be dirty from head to toe and wet up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder complete with tape. Being cooperative, he could be led into the squad car and transported back to town. 08 16 81 12 25 p.m. Picked up Mrs. Rain and brought her along with Mr. Rain to the emergency room at the community clinic. Uh, 